It's week 73 of Zerz. We're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, and give you guys my recommendation for this week. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 73 of Zur. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of March 2019, and by the time this uh, video is posted, that will be ready, then you can do so by clicking on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zur is located on the EDZ. And he is by the Winding Cove in this area right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? You're like famous today, man. You're like famous. So, like always, we're gonna start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Huckleberry, which is an exotic machine gun. Then we have the Stomp EE5 for the Hunter, the, oh, I'm sorry, an Insurmountable Skull 4 for the Titan, as well as Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock. We're gonna go ahead and start with the first exotic armor. Stomp EE5 for the Hunter. We have uh, Hydraulic Boosters for the Intrinsic Perk, which buffs Sprint, Slide, and Jumping. Then we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, uh, Outreach, Scout Rifle Scavenger, and Special Ammo Finder. If you guys do not have these, go ahead and grab it. Uh, I'm sorry, it also comes with, oh, it also has an ornament called Turbo Kickers, and it just makes it look pretty badass. Makes your legs like look kind of robotic. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a tier two in PVE and PVP. And also, if you guys do not know the tier scale, it will be linked in the description box below. Um, so definitely go ahead and check that out. Next is the, an insurmountable skull fork for the Titan. In terms of perk on this is Transfusion Matrix, which arc melee kills, grant health, and melee energy. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, sorry, as well as Machine Gun uh, Reserves. And this also has an ornament called uh, Electronic uh, Mind Cage. Can't view it, unfortunately, because I'm not on my uh, Titan. That kind of sucks. But anyways, definitely go ahead and grab this. This is definitely a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP as well. Um, definitely a good exotic, so go ahead and grab that. And last but not least, we have the Claza Ahamkar for the Warlock. And trying to perch on this is the Whispers, which you gain an additional melee charge. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. Once again, if you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. I would consider this a Tier 2 in PvP, but not in PvP. Ah, uh, PvE, sorry. Tier 2 in PvP, not in PvE. I feel like this is a lot better in PvP than it is PvP, so I'm probably going to give this a 2.5 to even a Tier 3 in PvE. Last but not least, we have your Huckleberry. Trenton perk on this is Ride the Bull, which gives you increased rate of fire and recoil uh, while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with this weapon, reload a portion of the magazine. Then we have Fluted Barrel, Ricochet Rounds, Rampage, which kills with this weapon, temporarily grants increased damage and stacks up to three times. And then we have Short Action Stock. And this actually has an ornament called the Devil's Work. And it actually looks pretty badass. Now, I feel like Huckleberry is an okay exotic. I kind of feel like there are better ones, like the Risk Runner, in my opinion. Um, but hey, to each his own. People uh, rate things differently. So I'm probably going to give this a Tier 3 in PV as well as PvP. Next, we have your Consumables, uh, which is the Five of Swords. If you don't have this, go ahead and grab it for the Nightfall Strikes, as well as the wonderful Faded Engram that still does not give you Forsaken Exotics. Ta-da! Tier. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.